Hi, this is Hema from Unique Technologies and this video will discuss how to deploy ASP.NET application in IIS web server. Here IIS is nothing internet information service. This is the server what we are using in ASP.NET. And here I list three steps we have to follow. Step 1. Create sample application in Visual Studio and publish their website. Step 2. Deploy the published website in IIS and set suitable domain name for that. Finally, step 3. Edit our domain name in our system host. We'll come back to these steps and just a bit first let's look at an example application for that. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Here I have a new ASP.NET web applications. All I have done so first, I created one web application here. Let's see the outcome of this project. Click Google Chrome. And this is our output. Fix your eyes on this URL. It's currently use default local host name. That is local host 2594 textiles. And now what we are going to do is now we are going to fix our own domain name. So for that we have to move our, our first step in the list. Our first step is just right, right click on your website and click publish website. In this website it asks for target location. So we have to set the target location here and I'm just going to create one folder here. So what's the path I'm going to choose is inside the C colon I'm going to set one folder IIS internet information service whatever we want and click open then click S. So finally we just successfully completed our publish and also we successfully completed our first step of our list then move to the second step deploy the published website in IIS and set suitable domain name for that. So for that we have to go for web search sorry window search. So just type IIS internet information service. So here internet information service manager is there just click on it and click yes. So here in left side connection folder is there sorry connection window is there. Just click right click on that site sites just right click add website. So here we have to mention the site name site name whatever we want. Here I am using textile. So after that we have to set the physical path. So physical path is nothing but wherever we are publishing our website. So I am publishing my website in C colon inside the IS folder. I just select that. Click OK. After that binding. In the binding type HTTP. It must be a HTTP and IP address. Everything as it is. Just leave that column and after that fill the host name. So here in host name I am using www.myapp.com this is my domain name whatever we want you just put on here and uh, we successfully finished our second step too and next move to the third step our third step is edit our domain name in our system host so for completing this we just need to move my computer so inside the my computer go to the c colon and inside the c colon just search for windows so my windows is there and inside that we have to search for system 32. If you are using system 64 means it will be there. So I am using system 32 so it's there. And next we have to search for drivers. So driver is there and etc. etc is there and after that hosts. host. So host just open this file in a notepad. Then after that we search for local host. Yeah just he see here. 127.0.0.1 local host. Just copy this and paste in the end of the file. Just remove the local host and paste your domain name, whatever you want www.myapp.com. Your third step is also completed. Just save it before close the window. Yeah. Then run your application here www.myapp.com. This is your domain name, right? Yeah. It's successfully running. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.